Hello to everyone who has been accompanying Funiel Podcast. Today is Saturday, April 15, 2023. After the Easter holidays in Norway. This year is in April and the weather and climate are still gloomy. I still have the heater on in my house. Many of you ask the question, what is special about April in Norway besides the cold air on Easter? It sounds very lonely, lonely, and lonely. In Norway, in April the climate as well as monthly temperatures are above zero degrees Celsius south of the coastal areas and fjords. April is the month with the least amount of rain of the year in southern Norway. There are several theories about the origin of the name April. This is the most common but not necessarily the most correct interpretation as the name is connected with the Latin verb aperire which means to open up. Therefore, April is considered the opening month for summer. At the beginning of April, there is a very special day, which is April Fool's Day. Meaning, we'll prepare to trick someone on April 1st. Anyone who lets themselves be fooled is being told by the person behind the joke, loudly, April Fool's. This custom is still cyclical, in early April, in most countries with Western culture. This history tells us the following. The context of the April Fool's Day custom is not very clear. One theory is that the tradition can be traced back to the transition from the Julian to the Gregorian calendar. Took place in Catholic countries in 1582. Then it was decided that, New Year's Day, on January 1st, when some French people disobey the Pope's orders and try to celebrate the New Year according to the tradition on April 1st. So they are called, fools who always get pranked. In France April 1st is called, Poisson d'Avril, which translates to April Fools. The term refers to an old custom of sticking an image of a fish on the back of someone who is ignorant and is being pranked. The transition from winter to spring has been celebrated with wild parties in many countries. Perhaps this custom of tricking people can be connected with parties. Spring comes later in the Nordic countries than in the southern European countries, and the customs of fools in some places can be associated with May 1st. You probably know people who walk on glue sticks, called cloud cats or cloud geese. Cloud cats are known from the country of Denmark and from central Norway. According to Danish folklore, cats born in May have poor eyesight and are poor at catching mice. But, in Norway, the term sky goose is more common than in Denmark. In fact, it may be related to May 1st. On this day, there is usually a gawk fair and the bird perches on a tall tree branch, which can be interpreted as a goose. The way to fool on April 1st is as follows. Many people see it as a way to trick a friend, coworker, or loved one on April 1st. The prank might involve asking someone to pick up or buy something that doesn't exist. For example, a screwdriver, which is left-handed, or a stick, which has only one end. On this day, you may also experience tantrums. For example, it could be that someone walks through the door and gets a bucket of water poured over their head to entertain the audience. Or, it could be students who park their cars in unusual places. It could also be that you try to get people to imagine unbelievable things. April jokes are spread through the mass media, it has the greatest effect on this day. The newspapers were soon on hand when it came to such hoaxes. On April 1, 1936, the Honolulu Star Bulletin published a sensational story that a Viking ship had been found in a quarry near Waimanalo, Oahu. The finding was carefully described and the presentation seemed believable, until near the end of the article it was said that there was an inscription in the convention, interpreted as Fool April. Means seemed to be very limited. The Norwegian media has a tradition of tricking their readers with unbelievable stories on April 1st. However, most major newspapers have stopped doing this. The reason is not to focus so much on fake news. For the media, it is important to appear credible. However, not all newspapers give up on fooling readers with the April Fool's joke. For me, this day was very happy when I was young. 
but now this joy is no longer found. Each age, at a different stage. Joy and ideals experienced over time. Younger people, enjoy as much as you can. I paused the recording today. I hope you will listen to a new topic one day soon. Cordially greet. Subscribe and support my channel, which is dedicated to those of you who want to listen. Friendly welcome. Thuniel Podcast. April 15, 2023.